guys, so I'm in a very similar room, if you guys can see. I'm actually back at David's. He picked me up from my mother's because I didn't have my car. And um, we're spending some time together. I'm gonna relax, chill out, and just sleep probably. <laughs> Nothing special. Um, today, I wouldn't say it's much different than yesterday. I still have a lot of pain. Um, but at least I have pain medication that helps, right? Good stuff. So, um, I'm still in a bit of pain, but, and still kind of sleepy, but I know this is going to take a long time for it to heal. The doctor said that usually for older people, it takes about a month for it to heal, but she said I should be back within two weeks. So hopefully I get better soon. And so yeah, I'm just here relaxing, chillaxing with Taz on the bed. And yes, the bed is a mess. I just kind of put all my bags down. I didn't really feel like moving them right away. And yeah, I'm just really exhausted right now. Uh, it's nothing really different. David's upstairs making his supper and he's trying a new quinoa thing. Seems to really smell good. So I hope it tastes good, but we'll see. Who knows? How do you guys feel? You're on the camera now. You're not on the iPhone anymore. So it's a bit clearer. And this bed is a disaster. Yes, I um, lost my pain medication. Um, so I kind of flipped the room upside down. Uh, I realized I'm very good at losing things. Me, I'm like very, very good at losing things. And I think all my friends can tell me that. And so can David and so can my mom. Because honestly, I'm really good at losing things. Like if you guys want me to lose something, just give it to me and I'll lose it. It's like really easily for me. So yeah, I couldn't find the medication freaking out but I'm not in pain it's just like not to have that kind of scares me because when I'm in pain it's like really in pain and so I decided to just like let it go you know like I'll try and clean up take like step away from the situation and then come back to it so I've been like sitting down watching some stuff Taz on the end here decided to move and get off and go eat some food, do whatever, I don't know what he was doing. And there's my pain medication underneath his body. I was like, really? Really? Of course. I searched everywhere, tore the room upside down, and it was underneath him. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. And I'm very tired and my nose is very bad because it's like itchy and I just, I think I'm coming down with cold. I really hope I'm not. I really hope I'm not because that means I might have caught something from the hospital and right now they have the influenza kind of thing which I was talking about which is really serious and like I mean I've had my flu shot it's like the flu or whatever but um I had my flu shot but this is probably like worse than like it's worse and the flu shot doesn't cover what is in there so I really hope I don't get it and so I decided by this weekend if I haven't gotten anything I don't need to worry but I really don't want to go back to that hospital. Alright, so David bought this. It's like a quinoa with like vegetables in it, I guess you could say. And it already has spices. And it was like a box that was like, well it was already like made. It had like vegetables and like spices. It was pre-made. Not like pre-made, but like it was ready so you just stuck it in so you didn't have to cut the vegetables or anything. And it is amazing. Like, I can't even make quinoa that good. And I mean, usually I don't like things that are, like, just pre-made. Like, that, I guess you could say. And I like to, like, make it fresh and all the time cut up all the vegetables, put what I want it. But I never make the quinoa that good. And that quinoa turned out really good and I really like it. So it's, like, I guess the spices that they put in it... When you were when it was being made, it almost smelled like David's dad says it's like Mexican y kind of smell, like but it's more like um like spicy I guess. But when you taste it it's like somehow reminds me of a bit of garlic in there. If that's like somehow different. I don't know if I'm explaining this clearly, but I'm just trying to say it's really good. So yes, quinoa good. Really good. And I'm just like enjoying eating it. I'm not eating too much, but and it's not too hard on my stomach, yes, but it's like, it's like a subtle taste. It's not like a strong taste, so it'll be good for my stomach. We're good. But, um, yeah, and a second thing, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all the positive things that you guys have been saying, like, oh, I hope you're okay and everything, so thank you. That's really nice of you guys. Um, I'm doing better, I think. 
I don't think it's a long, it's going to be a long process. I don't know how fast it'll bounce back. Um, I'm doing better because I have a lot of pain medication, so it helps. But Look at that pose again. Although it looks like he has no head. Taz. Hello. I see that foot move. So I have been sitting here for most of the night, actually like 90% of the night, but whatever, we'll just ignore that. And I'm feeling exhausted. I f today I kind of got up and did a bit more and it's just like got like just the movement I guess really tired me out because I'm so exhausted right now and it's 9.30 at night and so <laughs> I think it's time for me to go to bed. But I did something bad. Um, David got, um, what do you call it, black magic, like a chocolate box of black magic, which is like, it sounds like, I feel like when I say it, like, oh, I just had some black magic chocolate or something, or just say black magic, I feel like it's some type of drug. I don't know why, it just, I, I feel like I'm saying it's like a type of drug, but it's not. It's a chocolate box. And I think it's kind of like new on the market or something. I don't really know. It's just, I've never heard of it. So anyways, um, I decided to uh, have a couple bites of chocolate, if you know what I mean, um, as a little treat. And um, chocolate's uh, kind of acidic, apparently. So uh, that's not too good on my stomach. <laughs> I didn't really realize that until after. And I kind of researched it, and that's what the internet told me, that there's some acid in there, and so, yeah. Guess I won't be having chocolate for a while. <laughs> oh well, that's good for me for the new year, everything. So, um, yeah, I guess David will have to eat all the chocolate before it goes bad. Although it probably won't go bad by the time I'm better. <laughs> anyway, so, I'm feeling a little bleh right now. And, uh, I think I'm gonna probably go to bed. And this room is a disaster. Thank God I'm only showing you me right now because the room, I just tore it apart and it's just like been a disaster the past couple days and I haven't been feeling good and I haven't been here actually. And well, David obviously didn't clean it because it, he's David, right? David just doesn't, I mean, he cleans, he cleans, he's a good boyfriend, but I mean, he's been busy with work and all that, so he doesn't really have time. So I think tomorrow is going to be cleaning day because it's a day that we're not doing anything and I'm just like need to get back into society whoops and start feeling better and stuff so we'll see how it goes I'm cleaning maybe David will feel bad and clean for me because I just don't feel great but hopefully tomorrow it's a new day I'll start feeling better I'm excited I want to start feeling better that's all I want to do is like recover that's like you know everyone looks forward to that so this is what I'm looking forward to yeah I'm exhausted right now. I feel my eyes are like drooping closed and oh. so I'm probably gonna head off to bed now. I'm gonna like shove everything on the bed off to, onto the floor and then deal with it tomorrow. That's what I do. I deal with things tomorrow. So that's what I do. Do you guys do that? Do you guys just like, especially like with their stuff on your bed, do you just like throw it off and then I'm gonna deal with it tomorrow? That's what I always say and I, I don't deal it with it, but we'll see. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow, right, right, right. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Like I said, nothing too special. Still healing and trying to feel better and recuperating. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a good day, night, whenever you're watching this. I feel like a creep whenever I say this in this voice. Don't ask me what I'm doing. But, um, yeah. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!